Hey everyone, I'm Joel on the road, and today my UNESCO World Heritage Journey is at the monastic island of Reichenau in southern Germany. So we're here today on the island of Reichenau, a small island in the middle of Lake Constance in southern Germany. And the island was settled by monks in the early 700s AD. For the next few hundred years, their monastic community flourished and more than 20 churches and chapels were built on the island, though only three of them have survived the centuries. These days, it's famous and World Heritage listed because the collection of wall paintings and frescoes inside the remaining churches is absolutely incredible. And the oldest remaining wall paintings north of the Alps. Let's check it out. Behind me, you can see the church of St. Peter and Paul, and it's the second oldest church that still remains on the island. Now, this building dates from around the 11th century, and inside there are some slightly faded but still very nice frescoes. The interior was also remodeled in Rococo style, so there's a lot of that to see as well. Behind me, you can see the church of St. Mary and Marcus, and it's the oldest church still remaining on the island. Now, parts of this building date back to the very origins of the monastic community here in the 9th century, though it's been added to many times over the centuries, including the Gothic wall paintings that we can see inside. So this is the Church of St. George, and although it's the newest of the three churches still remaining on the island, it still, in part, dates from the 9th century. Now, apparently the head of St. George is in here, but I don't think we're going to be able to see that. But what we will be able to see is the oldest wall paintings north of the Alps. I'm really excited to check these out. Now that was really cool. It's hard to imagine that those frescoes are over a thousand years old. And it's interesting as well because they were quite different from your typical uh, Catholic religious paintings because although they had the Last Judgment in there, there were no nativity scenes and no passion scenes either. It was all uh, miracles from the life of Jesus like the resurrection of Lazarus or healing the leper. But that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm Joel on the road and I'll see you at the next World Heritage site.